Hey everybody, what's up? Well, I'm here today to do a checkout on this system here. Uh, people are selling the house and um, just here to check it out. So the first thing I see, of course, is this uh, old Sears um, UV light, I guess. I'm going to take it apart and see exactly what it is, but I've never seen one like this, actually. Um, so then I see the little box is made a uh, cover for the 4x4 box. No switch, no nothing. Although the electric panel is back on that wall back there. I don't know if you can see it, but the panel is on that wall, so uh, no harm, no foul on that. The next thing I notice is they built a wood stand to put the, the furnace on instead of uh, building a transition. And I'm sure if you're paying really close attention to uh, the video, you can actually see something else that's, that's uh, the most funniest part of the whole deal. Of course, I didn't see the water heater drip leg, but I did see the furnace drip leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip those around. Um, and then, uh, some things you see, I don't understand that part of it there, but of course, I wasn't here. So there you go. There you go. Uh, I see the wire there now. Doesn't come off of that. That actually comes from inside the furnace and supplies power down to the um, pump. <clears throat> So that wire actually never had a switch there to begin with, and that goes straight to the panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the uh, flip those around. <laughs> it's funny. Some of the things you see. So as I was taking the uh, gas line apart to fix it, I noticed that instead of coupling, they have a little thread saver there. So I'll go ahead and take that off the coupling. Um, uh, maybe I won't have to put a coupling. Yeah, I will. I'll have to put a coupling there so I can uh, extend it out past the PVC. And then I'll fix it all up. Alright, so we got it done. Got it all spun around. Took the uh, thread saver off, which is right here. Took it off. Put a coupling on. Put a 90, went across, connected to the flex, made the drift leg right, but I had to take the whole pipe off because I could just, uh, that 90 there wasn't even really tight. I could almost take it off with my hand. So we did that. Uh, you know, this job really, really, whoever did it shouldn't, shouldn't even be doing installs because you know, I came over here because the inspector said the electronic air planer wasn't working and to check out the furnace. Well, there's no way that thing is ever going to work again. It just, it just isn't going to work. Um, but that was his main concern. He didn't care about the drip leg. Fix that one down there as well. He did not care about the flue pipe. Um, and also, if you look up there, that's a half inch gas line running down, feeding a 90,000 furnace and a 36,000 BTU water heater. And at 10 foot, we're supposed to carry about 130,000 BTUs or 120,000. So we're off just by 6,000 BTUs as far as what it'll carry. But if you look up there, can you see that uh, gas cock up there and that copper that's cut. I'm assuming that that came down to the water heater um, at one time. So I'm going to get with the homeowner and find out if he wants me to because it's three quarter up there. So it goes three quarter, half, half. So I'm going to see if he wants me to come along come out with a piece of half inch and come straight down into the furnace and just take all that other stuff off. 
because they left that gas valve there too. They should have just taken it com completely out. Um, let's see if he wants me to, you know, fix it. But they're selling this house, so I'm sure it's not going to get done. It's going to stay exactly like it is. Um, anyway, but definitely tell them about that so we can get that fixed. But yeah, the homeowner or the home inspector missed that and that and was worried about that. Didn't even look at the, the drip legs. So what are you gonna do? Alright, since I've never seen one, I just wanted to take it apart and find out exactly what it is. But uh looks like a, it's got a little mounting bracket right here and a little hole right there. Uh, you see that little rubber gasket right there. And it goes all the way through. So apparently at one time there was an electrode or something that stuck through there. But it just slides on the bracket right there. And here's the power pack. Like I said, it looks like it'll never work again. You know, that little white piece right there right on that brown board in the corner. Looks like that's where the electrode went through. And it lines up about perfect, so. I'm guessing I've never seen one like this before and uh, probably I'll never see another one in my entire life. But that's it. That's what it looks like. No repair initials. You guys didn't really think I was gonna leave that little drip leg like that, did you? If you did. You'd be wrong because that's not the way the drip leg's supposed to be done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that little gas cock off there because it's a potential leaker. I'm gonna try to pipe it in straight, but if I can't, I've got another gas flex right there that uh, will take care of it. All right, so I got the drip leg done on this one here. Uh, I just went ahead and flexed it back over. Use the original flex and uh gas cock took that old gas cock off it's playing on the floor right there great potential for a leaker right there all right so i'm up here where the other gas pipe fitting is gas cock just a piece of copper they they cut it's wide open you know yeah. that's definitely a leak waiting to happen all right, so I went ahead and put a new nipple there and a cap, so uh, no danger of somebody opening it up. But look, that's what they, uh, see the hole in it? There you go, so it's all done. Drip leg's done the right way. The drip leg's done the right way, it's not pointing up no more. Took the uh, old ionizer off, and now you can't even tell it was there.